Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome to our Music Odyssey. Uh, this will be our first edition of our What the Fuck Happened uh, episodes, I guess. So, ideally, Monday is when we're going to, when we or me, I, whatever, however it ends up between me and my brother, if we ever get the fuck back together with this shit. But uh, just want to, you know, review all the music news that we've that's come up the week prior uh, Monday give you kind of a uh, info dump. Uh, if you're not like me, you know I follow all, all these bands that I love listening to uh, on Facebook and all that. And so sometimes you get uh, you know information that some people may not have heard come across yet. If if you're not following them super closely like that, so maybe this will be redundant to you. Maybe not. If you're really fucking uh, if you're really fucking tuned in to the music scene, then uh, this may be of no interest to you. But Otherwise, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the stuff that came that I've come across that I found interesting and thought you might be interested in. So, first thing, uh, super fascinating to me. I knew nothing about this. So, apparently, Chester Bennington, obviously, you know, from Lincoln Park, for those who don't know. And Mark Morton from Lamb of God. actually got together and wrote some tracks. Apparently this happened in 2017. Like I said, I didn't know anything about it. Uh, but they wrote some stuff together and it's actually going to get released. There's no official release date yet or anything like that. It was just kind of a Twitter posting. You know, a fan made remark on, hey, are we ever going to hear this stuff? Obviously they, they knew that uh, they'd done those tracks together. And uh, uh, Mark responded back saying, yep, we're going to release it. So uh, not sure how many tracks it is even or when it's coming out. I would imagine, you know, it sounds like it's already done. So it's a matter of just, you know, when they decide to release it. Another really cool piece of news that I came across last week was uh, Static X is coming back. Uh, any of you, uh, you know, Static X fans know that Wayne Static, uh, the lead vocalist, uh, died a while ago. But uh, the band is all the original founding members are coming back together for the 20-year anniversary of Wisconsin Death Trip, and uh, they're doing a reunion tour. Uh, they're calling it uh, Project Regeneration. And so basically what they're doing is they're selling a whole bunch of memorabilia at, you know, in my opinion, a fairly reasonable cost. Uh, I'll put the link for that down below. So if you're a Static X fan, you can get it. But they've got a whole bunch of signed stuff you can get and huge packages of, you know, hoodies and posters and all kinds of stuff. You know, anywhere from, you know, the typical 20 bucks to uh, you can get a whole bunch of shit for $75. Also, they're going to go out on tour. So they're doing this as kind of a... Uh, funding project uh, to fund their tour and then they're going to basically play the majority of the Wisconsin uh, Wisconsin Death Trip uh, tracks on that on that tour so for the 20 year anniversary so I thought that was really cool I'd love to see them again on top of that they're also releasing 12 tracks uh, the last tracks that Wayne Static ever recorded uh, so they're putting out a new album and uh, they're, gonna, they're also calling in and trying to collaborate with the various different vocalists. Uh, they mentioned it again, you can watch this, watch this in their video, uh, talking about it. For the unfinished tracks, we're inviting our friends to lend us their vocal talents to help us complete this very personal project. With the assistance of SiriusXM's Jose Mangan, we are in the process of reaching out to David Draymond from Disturbed, Ivan Moody from Five Finger Death Punch, Al Jorgensen from Ministry, Des Fafara from Cold Chamber and Devil Driver, Edsel from the band Dope, Burton C. Bell from Fear Factory, as well as a handful of others. See if they can take some time off their busy schedules to help contribute to this project. They're reaching out to uh, David Draymond from Disturbed. Uh, most interestingly to me is Edsel Dope, uh, you know, lead singer for the band Dope.
and uh, I feel like he'd be a great fit. Also, not quite as busy as the lead singer of Disturbed. Uh, so that's really exciting if uh, he ends up signing on to that. I can't wait to see this concert live. But anyway, so that's going on with them. You know, they've got, they're releasing a new uh, album with all of Wayne Static's old stuff. And then uh, trying to bring in some different vocalists to finish out, you know, finish out the, uh, you know, a few, few remaining tracks to get the album completed. And then uh, trying to bring uh, bring in a vocalist for the tour for the 20th Wisconsin Death Trip anniversary uh, in memory of Wayne Static. So again, I've got the full video where they announce it and talk about all the details. The link to that in the description below. So feel free to check that out. Next thing on the list, not huge news, also not super new, but I, I still think, thought it'd be fun to bring up. Uh, Corn uh, has come out with their own brand of cop. And it's uh, pretty funny, you know, simply named Corn Cop with a K, of course. But I um, thought it was pretty funny. Uh, you know, but the band's gotta do what they gotta do to keep stuff going, especially since you don't really make any uh, money on your music anymore, uh, the way the industry is, from streaming and all that. But uh, I can't wait to try it. I fucking love coffee. And uh, Korn is one of my favorite bands of all time. One of the main bands that got me in the middle in the first place. So definitely can't wait to try it, just out of curiosity. And it's uh, just kind of one of those fun stories that, you know, they went and really took the time and they, they've got little videos showing the pro uh, some of the process of uh, how they developed it. So you know, they didn't just hire somebody and say, put our put our name on it, corn top. You know, they were in there like sipping through beans and figuring out how to roast the shit. It's pretty hilarious. So uh, you can look that up on YouTube. Maybe I'll put a link in the description below uh, to some of that if you give shit. On the topic of corn, uh, something else that actually just came up a couple days ago, uh, Monkey, the lead, uh, one of the guitars from Corn, has, as a part of the Follow the Leader 20 year anniversary, uh, is putting together a charity, uh, has put up one of his guitars uh, for sale uh, for charity. And so, I'm pretty disappointed because, I mean, that's one of my favorite albums from them. And they did a reunion show, but they only did a few, I believe, in Vegas. Or maybe it was California. I mean, it makes more sense California, that's where they're from. But uh, I think it was Vegas. They did three shows. Uh, but they didn't, I, I would have loved to have seen them do a tour with it. But they didn't. Uh, but what he is doing is he had a custom guitar made, which he played for those shows, that has the Follow the Leader album cover on it. Uh, Played during those shows, and so he's uh, uh, selling it online. And then, you know, some of the proceeds are going to go to charity, uh, that charity uh, for uh, you know adoption. Uh, really wish I had money like that. It's going for seventy five hundred bucks, and man, if I fucking had that, I would definitely get it. It's a nice looking guitar, and again, you know, one of my favorite bands, one of them that got me in the metal in the first place. Uh, so, if you happen to have that kind of money. You know, FYI, if, if uh, that'd be an awesome piece of memorabilia to have. Uh, but if not, just kind of info. I'll put the you know the link to that video in the description below. Uh, that's all for this week. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, one of these days, I'll figure out how to uh, speak more clearly and uh, efficiently. But <laughs> we're, we'll get there. It's all a learning process. You know what it is. Uh, thanks for joining me and. Uh, like I said, let me know if you like this kind of thing, if you want to see more of it, or if you want to tell me to fuck off. Okay, have a good one.